So let me start with a question. Who knows exactly who they are right now? 100% sure of your identity? Completely through and through? Only a couple hands went up. That's a really hard question even for adults to answer, much less teenagers who are going through high school right now. For me, answering that question was a little bit harder than for most people, mainly because when I was only eight months old, I took a flight from South Korea, and I flew over to Detroit, Michigan, and I started a new life here. This part of my life has always been a part of my history. It was never really an obstacle or a hurdle to jump over. But as I started to reach adolescence, it started to nag at me a little bit more, and I started to think that I had to choose one or the other. I had to either be completely Korean or completely American. Would I throw out my American culture and fully embrace a country that I hadn't even spent a quarter of my life in? Or would I discard that Korean culture and fully embrace the American life that I had been raised in? It wasn't until just this past year that I actually started to consider, could I actually be both of these things and take both of these cultures and combine them into one solid identity? Being adopted has always been a part of conversation in my household, a part of who we are. I was adopted, and my older brother of five years was also adopted from South Korea. My parents always raised us to take it with a grain of salt, you know? They raised us to have a sense of humor about what we were raised with. So when kids would come up to me in elementary school and ask me, hey, do your parents speak really good English? I was like, yeah, they do. Actually, you'd be surprised. <laughs> so from there, I mean, it was never something to be worried about. But as I began to get older, my brother began to think, I don't want anything to do with Korean culture. It was something too alien, too foreign, too far away. He didn't want to be Korean. He wanted to embrace the life he had now. Well, when I started to get older, when I reached the fourth grade, I started to think that Korean culture was really something interesting. It was something that I could learn more about, something that could fill this empty part of myself. But because he discarded it, I began to feel self-conscious that I also had to make a decision. Well, I started researching, and throughout middle school, I began to learn more about the culture, the norms, the social cues. And when I started to reach puberty, I was thinking to myself, wow, I am nothing like what they are in South Korea. Everything that I was here as a normal American kid was seen as too noisy or too rambunctious or too hard to control over in South Korea. And I started to think to myself, maybe I'm not cut out for Korean life. Maybe I have to change myself in order to better suit Korean culture. And that's something that sounds a little familiar to kids who are going through school. Kids feel that they have to change themselves in order to fit in. They have to push themselves into a clique in order to feel like they have a sense of belonging. And I was doing the same thing, just with a different culture. Finding your identity isn't solely an adoptee issue. It's something that every kid goes through. Everyone has to figure out who they are in order to feel comfortable with themselves and better themselves. I personally believe that one's identity is created through little aha moments, little parts of your life where you think, wow, that is who I am. I had an aha moment when I was doing college visits this past summer, and I stepped onto the campus of Ohio State University, and I thought to myself, this is where I'm meant to be. I had another aha moment when I was talking to the chair of East Asian Studies, and I realized that's the major I want to pursue, a major in which I can take both 
my Korean heritage and my American heritage and make something out of it. You can be more than one thing. It's not black and white. And an identity doesn't fall into your lap with one single event. I was thinking that in freshman year, as soon as I entered high school, I would know exactly who I was. That just by being enrolled in high school, I would craft my own identity for the rest of my life. And when I was halfway through my freshman year, sitting in one of my classes, I'm thinking, man, nothing really changed. I'm still the same person who I was with all the same questions. Made me a little confused. It was through these aha moments that I could truly feel comfortable with who I am. But my journey isn't completely over. I still have some work to do. After all, I'm only 17. There's a lot left ahead of me. And so this summer, I'm going over to South Korea to better connect with that Korean heritage and fully immerse myself in the culture that is also a part of me. And it's with hopes that this trip to Seoul, South Korea can help spawn some soul searching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so with this trip and with the future I have planned ahead of me, I am going to still be crafting the identity that I know that I can relate with. And I want everyone to feel comfortable in realizing that their journey isn't completely over with either. Thank you.